Tom Hagen was profoundly grateful and unswervingly loyal to Vito, Sonny, and Michael. Michael knew this and was not contemptuous of Tom, but he was frustrated by Tom's weaknesses and limitations, primarily Tom's inability to even recognize relationships and opportunities that Sicilian conciliaries, capos, and dons would instinctively exploit. It's not personal, son. It's strictly business. Unlike Vito, Michael was never able to accept the flaws in those around him, even the people he loved. Michael's negative judgment of Tom's abilities and character generated palpable distance and tension in their relationship. For example, during Godfather 2, when Tom was approached by a competitor with a job offer, two smart choices were available to him. One was to immediately refuse to even listen to it, thereby reinforcing the superiority of the Corleone family and his absolute loyalty to it. But an even smarter choice would be to listen to the job offer, respond non-committally, and immediately go to Michael and give him a summary of the weaknesses he just learned about the competitor from information elicited during the conversation. By acknowledging that it wanted Tom, the competitor revealed a deficiency in its own structure. This information would be valuable to Michael. A Sicilian conciliary or even a good corporate general counsel recognizes and takes advantage of every opportunity. Listening to one of your competitors tell you why it wants to hire you is such an opportunity. My offer is this. Nothing. Not even the fee for the gaming license, which I would appreciate if you would put up personally. Michael might want Tom to string the competitor along for a while to see if he could get further information from it. Remember, Don Vito tried to use Luca to gather information from the Tatialis by pretending he was unhappy with the Corleones and looking to make a change. Tom should have immediately recognized that this job offer was an opportunity for the Corleone family that could be exploited to its benefit. Michael immediately knew this, but Tom never saw it. Even after Michael confronted Tom about his decision to meet with the competitor and not tell him, Michael disciplined Tom in a way Tom could understand by asking him if he was loyal and bringing up his marital infidelity. You're gonna come along with me in these things I have to do or what? Because if not, you can take your wife, your family, and your mistress, move them all to Las Vegas. There was no point in raising the bigger issue that Tom is of limited use to him because Tom's playing checkers and Michael needs a chess master. Michael also knows why Tom took the meeting, something Tom himself doesn't consciously recognize. Tom met with the competitor as an ego boost, the same reason why he has a mistress, to be valued, wanted, and important. Tom needs this affirmation because of his own lingering insecurity due to his childhood abandonment and rescue by Vito and Carmela. Tom's childhood was one of being an outsider who desperately longs for the impossible, to be a true Corleone son and brother. How did Tom respond when Sonny angrily compares him unfavorably to Genko after the attempt on Vito's life? Tom said that he was as good a son to Vito as was Sonny. And Vito told Tom he was a good son to him to soften the blow when Michael fired him as conciliary. So Tom boosts his ego by listening to a competitor tell him that he's wanted for an important role. And then Tom delusionally thinks that he can keep this meeting secret from Michael. Obviously, Michael has layers of people watching each other within the family. There's absolutely no way that Tom can make any sort of move that's not going to be reported back to Michael through multiple outlets. Tom's failure to recognize that constant observation is a fundamental element to Mafia security further demonstrates his limited usefulness to Michael. Vito recruited people to key roles in his organization early on, and they were crucial to be the Corleone's family's success. Michael lost all of those people and was never able to replace them with the exception of Al Neri, who became his Luca Brasi. To succeed as Don in the long term, Michael desperately needed a criminal strategist and battle general, replacements for Genko and Clemenza. Michael never found these key people. Michael's belief that he could personally fill all these roles was pure hubris. So Michael is frustrated with Tom's limited awareness and the way this adversely impacts the Corleone family. Tom's inability to recognize every opportunity and his need for reassurance angered Michael and Michael lashed out at him. Michael's intolerance and cruelty is one of the main reasons why he ultimately failed as Don. Vito inspired loyalty by recognizing what men need and giving it to them. Michael never did. His lack of empathy and refusal to accept frailty magnified other people's weaknesses over time. We see this dynamic in his tense relationship with Tom. Yet this portrait must be balanced by recognizing that Michael always trusted Tom. The frustration between them is a brotherly dynamic.
Brothers infuriate you. They know all your weaknesses and fight dirty. They can let you down. Yet in an emergency, you turn to a brother if you can. Tom and Michael were brothers regardless of bloodlines, which is why when Tom says to him, Why do you hurt me, Michael? I've always been loyal to you. I mean, what is this? Michael not only stopped berating Tom, but entrusted his family to him when he's gone. The expectation of a brother's loyalty and willingness to stand beside you when the family is threatened explains Tom's understanding of the wordless acceptance of Michael's lasting rage towards Fredo, his need to hear the gunshot, and his devastating guilt afterwards. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.